Love and Relationships, poet James Kavanaugh writes, to love is not to possess, to own or imprison, nor to lose oneself in another. Love is to join and to separate, to walk alone and together, to find a laughing freedom that lonely isolation does not permit. It is finally to be able to be who we really are, no longer clinging in childish dependency, nor docilely living separate lives in silence. It is to be perfectly oneself and perfectly joined in permanent commitment to another and to one's inner self. Love only endures when it moves like the waves, receding and returning gently or passionately, or moving like the tide in the moon's own predictable harmony. Because finally, despite a child's scars or an adult's deepest wounds, they are openly free to be who they really are and always secretly were in the very core of their being where true and lasting love can alone abide. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have known each other from first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed, you have been making commitments in an informal way. All of those conversations that were held in a car or over a meal, or during long walks, all those conversations that begin with when we're married and continue with I will and you will and we will, all those late night talks that included someday and somehow and maybe are the real process of a wedding.